Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and Steampunk Time. So, what we're going to do in this video is we are going to take a first look and talk about two of the steampunk weapons and one of the new traps. Well, the only new trap, which is the broadside. We're going to be looking at the steam piston, the steam roller, and the broadside trap. Now, I've already worked on these. I've already change them up quite a bit too and actually what you guys are going to see in this video is not their final form i actually worked on them a little bit more now in this video we're not going to do any actual gameplay i'm actually going to be releasing very soon a gameplay of the steam piston and the steam roller but not the broadside that is actually going to be an entirely separate video of just the broadside and actually if you guys want let me know what you want to see first do you want to see gameplay of the steam piston the steamroller or of the broadside first i kind of think i know what you guys are going to say but i've been working on all three of them and i will tell you right now that the steam piston has a new perk which is a cone of damage behind it personally for me i don't think it's the best for me for my gameplay style now maybe for yours but let me know how you guys have been using it too how have you been using that cone of damage for the best possible damage um also the steamroller the pistol love it i love it it's been really interesting actually the stats that i put on that one is the stats i've kept the steam piston i did change later so when you guys see the gameplay with those those two weapons you guys are going to see what i did with those and finally for the broadside the broadside which is right here this thing <laughs> Uh, this thing is wow this thing is interesting it's very interesting but I'll show you guys what I ended up building and I'll tell you I've kept those same stats I want to increase them a little more and like I said in the next video or you guys let me know there's gonna be two more videos where I'm gonna do gameplay for both the steam roller and the steam piston and a separate video of just gameplay and how I've been using a little overkill me <laughs> how I've been using the broadside so you guys let me know what you guys would like to see first let me know how you guys have been using these new weapons and let's get on with it and take a look at these weapons and this new trap let's work on some of the new steampunk weapons so what i want to work on is two guns and a trap so we're going to work on the steam piston i'm very curious about the steam piston because even though yes it does it is an ar uh, I've been told it's not the greatest. If you check out its magazine, it's only 30. It's oh, sorry, it's only 20. Its fire isn't that great. Its damage is okay for a level one um, weapon right there. Um, I'm very curious about this right here. This right here. If we go into the description, it says assault weapon, semi-automatic steampunk, a versatile rifle that deals steady damage. And check this here, on hit. Bullet splinters into shrapnel, dealing 40% damage in a cone behind target. Now, a cone would go like this, right? I mean, it would like splay out. It's just very curious to me. I don't know who it's going to affect in the back, who it's going to attack, etc, etc. So, I'm really curious about it. And you know what? Um, I've been hearing people say it's not a good weapon, which really makes me want to figure out how to make it a good weapon so we're gonna look at this one we're gonna look at the steamroller because i plan to start using the new ninjas uh sorry the new uh pirate heroes which benefit from the whole sword pistol kind of thing and i think that this one wouldn't be bad i mean um it only has a six magazine size of course the jack's revenge pistol that is in the event is made for that because it's one shot do one shot then you can switch to a sword but I want to play around with this one. I mean, it's a beautiful looking weapon. It really is. If, if you look at it, look at this thing. Look at that. It's beautiful. I really do like pistols. And of course, I will be working on some Outlander and Soldier pistol heroes in the near future. So I want to try that out too. And the last thing we're going to work on is this right here. Oh, I got two of them. I didn't realize. We're going to work on the broadside. Now, I have been told and i have actually seen in some missions people using the broadside in some ridiculous ways but for me i think this weapon is going to be perfect 
for my trap fields. Now, a lot of you guys know, and some people may not know, but I don't really do trap tunnels. I don't like trap tunnels. They're too closed off. I use ninjas a lot, so I feel like I'm just stuck in there. I like to do trap fields. So I like to do like wide, three, four, five wide areas full of traps, you know, wall dynamos and spikes and floor launchers, etc. Uh, and I've normally done on the side darts, but I have a feeling that this is going to be a very interesting change to that. So I'm looking forward to set these up. Maybe, you know, do a little bit of trap field stuff right now. But so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work on them. We're going to look at them. We're going to look at all three of these weapons. We're going to talk about them, see what would probably be the best thing to do. And then in the near future, I might do another video just trying each of them out. But for now, let's go ahead and just work on these. So let's start with the first one, which is going to be the steam piston. So the steam piston, uh, let's go ahead and take it up. Do we want to take it up? You know what? We're going to take it to 106. We're not going to take it to 130. I don't take any weapon up to 130 unless I truly feel that it deserves to be a 130 weapon. Uh, more because... I don't really like downcrafting. I know we can downcraft, but I, I don't really do it. Uh, I, I like to just use a weapon at the level it is. And honestly, a 106 weapon, because right now the highest we can go in the mission is level 100 mission. 106 weapons are fine. I mean, unless you're like trying to do a, man, unless you're trying to do like a, a, a SSD 9 or 10 in Twine, and even then, 106 weapons will still be okay it's a little difficult though you know i mean 130s are better i do have my beautiful zap zap at 130 oh again almost took it to obsidian actually let's take a look at this should we take this weapon to obsidian um impact doesn't really matter on an ar unless it's an impact ar the damage is going to be quite different uh fire rate is only three we can get that back there you know what shadow shark Let's go Shadow Shard. Alright, Shadow Shard it is. Max it up. And let's see what we got. 130s all day, every day. No. Hey, Latana, how's it going, man? Uh, <laughs> we're making a video right now. So, there we go. 106 Steam Piston. Let's take a look at this thing and see what we can do with it. So, we've got critical rating, reload speed, water. You know what? I want to keep it water. I don't have a water AR yet. I don't think I have a water AR yet. So let's just keep it water. Um, we're going to keep it water. We're, are we going to make this a crit weapon? Well, the magazine size would be nice. You know what? No, we're not going to. I'm actually going to show use this with the new soldier setup I'm working. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, so let's see. Do, 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 do. Reload. We don't really need to work on reload. Weapon stability. We don't need to work on that. We can take that away. So, on hit, bullet splinters into shrapnel, dealing 40% damage in the cone behind target. What would be conductive for this? Damage? Headshot damage? No. Damage to miss monsters? You know what? I kind of want to make it a damage weapon. Ooh, we could go double headshot on this thing. But then wouldn't the cone not really benefit? Well, I don't know. It kind of seems like it wants to... It kind of seems like it wants to be a headshot weapon. Look at this. Stability. Stability. Headshot. That's a weird combination right there. You... Wait. You can't put... Ma oh, you can't put magazine. Okay. I was wondering if you could put a magazine or not. Um, I'm going to keep this reload, uh, and let's level this up. Actually, let's level everything up to rare. We leave it on rare. Oh. We've encountered a problem. Okay, there it is. We'll keep this reload. Uh, we're not going to make this a critical weapon, so what we're going to do is we're going to go double damage on it. Ooh, fire rate. Do I want to increase fire rate? I do want to increase. Oh, my, 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 my. I do want to increase fire rate on this. Let's increase the fire rate. Let's increase the magazine. And let's increase the damage. Okay, let's do that. Oh, so how much did I just use? 
Ouch, man, it hurts using that perk. So we're gonna make this a fire rate reload water magazine size with damage. Now this magazine size here, apart from changing it to weapon stability, I don't really see anything else that I would do it. So we're ending at a 16.7, ooh, the headshots. That's why, that's why we could make this a double headshot weapon. Well, you know what? If I don't really need it, I may go ahead and just change it out and just keep it double headshot because that the double headshot would greatly increase the the, uh, the 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 damage i think magazine 30 okay we're gonna leave it there for that one let's go over and take a look at the steamroller now steamroller time god i love pistols uh let's level this up to begin with so steamroller says it is oh it causes affliction i love it oh ooh, this is gonna be nice with the new with the new ninja too Pistol, hand cannon, steampunk, high impact damage revolver with high recoil. Ooh. Causes affliction damage for six seconds. It's got, it comes with magazine size. Well, mine came with magazine size. Reload speed, elemental, physical, and 26 damage. 20% damage and headshot damage. Um, I'm tempted to leave it with headshot. Ooh, look at that. Wow, look at the difference in the headshot damage, man. That is, cr oh, look at the impact. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I, I, I might have to make the other one headshot because I'm wondering how the cone will work. Shadow shark, shadow shark. Oh, 35,000 headshot. Oh my. That's almost as good as the zap zap, but the zap zap still better. It's the best. I mean, come on, the zap zap. Uh, I'm wondering how the cone thing will work, but I, I may make it double headshot on the, but I'm such a bad, I'm so bad at aiming. Anyway, there we go. So we're leaving it at 106 for now. Uh, let's modify these perks and take a look at it. Magazine. Uh, do we care about the magazine? No, we don't care about magazine. Fire rate would prob, ooh, fire rate. I, again. Range exception? That's weird. Okay, reload isn't bad. We gotta keep that reload. Magazine. I don't care about the magazine. I actually think, oh, am I gonna make this a crit? Uh, you can't really make it crit. You've only got two crit possibilities. Double reload or more damage? I mean, it's already at 44,000 headshot. Ooh, my gosh. We're going to take away the magazine because I don't really care about magazine. Oh, man. Are we going to make this crit? I don't want to make it crit. I don't want to make it crit. I kind of want to keep it headshot, too. But I'm such a bad shot. You know what? You know what? Yeah. I might regret this later, but for now... For now, we're gonna keep this as a triple damage. We're not gonna make it energy because I've already got the zap zap. Zap zap is life. Zap zap is awesome. Um, I don't have a nature pistol. And I don't have a water pistol. I kinda have a water pistol, but it's not a very good one. You know what? You know what? We're gonna make these weapons water. We're gonna make these weapons water. All right, so triple damage, reload speed, and water damage on this one with affliction. Oh, it doesn't have affliction thingy. Oh, that's interesting. All right, there we go. So triple damage with reload and water. So we're gonna have to see how that works out. And finally, let's work on the broadside. So uh, I went ahead and just got my broadside out of the collection book. I know, I know, uh, a lot of people are saying that they get a lot of it. <laughs> it's a water pistol, <laughs> it is. A lot of people have been saying that you you're they're getting a lot of the broadside from the llamas. I opened 10 llamas. I only got two rare ones and I want to see if you could do it. So if you go into the traps, you see in the traps, in the wall traps, the broadside cannon is there. And if you go to it, you can actually just research it there, which I did. I went ahead and just researched mine so I didn't have to wait to get one from the llamas. And if I get one from a llama, that's great. It's just going to go into my collection book. Easy peasy. So let's go ahead and level this guy up. 
I'm gonna take him. Well, let's see what it's let's see what it's gonna take to make him. Uh, now the one thing I'm gonna say about this weapon is I am going to focus as much as I possibly can on reload. I want to be able because if you can see right now, that reload time is 12 seconds right now. We gotta cut it down. We gotta cut that reload way, way, way down. Uh, so it looks like it's gonna use planks. Ooh, mechanical parts. It's gonna use planks. Mechanical parts and powder. So, could I take it to 106? Oh, I could, but should I? Would I? Could I? Eh, I will. 106. I don't think it's ready to be a 130 weapon. No, it's not. Well, I don't know. No, I think we're going to keep it here. We're going to keep it 106. And let's take a look at these perks now. Perk wise, we gotta keep it physical. Uh, let's level everything up to rare because that's what we do with everything. And if I had more epic perk up, I would level it up to epic as well, but I don't. Um, damage, critical rating, critical damage. Huh, do we want extra crit on it? No, we don't. Let's just go with regular damage. Oh, durability? Do we want to make it more durable? How many durability does it have? 56? Let's increase the durability a little bit. This one has reload speed. Bring on the reload speed. This one has durability and damage. We'll keep this one as damage. If we need to, we'll make it durable and more durable in the future. This one has reload speed. My reload speed's down to 7.7 .7 seconds. And this, wait, we only can we can only do double reload on this thing? I was kind of hoping we could do triple reload. Um, I think because of this, I may need to go ahead and take this up to Epic. Oh, Epic is so hard to come by right now. Okay, alright. If I take this up to Epic, can I reduce the reload to 5 seconds? Yes, if I take them both up. We're gonna try it this way first. You gotta do a double reload. Yeah, we're gonna try it this... Oh, 7 seconds, though. You know what? <sighs> alright. Oh, it's so bad. Can we take it to close to five? Okay. The lowest is 6.5. Eh. All right. Uh, so... 6.5. All right. We're going to keep it at 6.5. See what happens there. Uh, keep this one as durability or heals attached building or max building health. I kind of want to do max building health instead of durability, but we'll keep it there. So right now we've got double durability and one damage with double reload speed on this guy. So there we go. I really do think I'm going to be using it for my trap fields. Put them on the side. Put him in front of the, you know, oh. I just had an idea. I need to find out what the range on these are. Like, when they trigger, depending how far away an enemy is. We're going to test that out first. If what I am thinking is correct, I have an idea. I'm going to put like two or three of these up. Floor pad, fl floor launch pad, floor launchers, enemy comes, do, 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 hits it, jumps up, triggers all three of them, and they're all going to shoot way back down and try and hit the enemies that are coming behind this one. It might work. We're going to have to try it. But anyway, I'll leave you guys there. We're probably going to go ahead and either in the next video or right after this, I will, you know, stitch together and edit some instances where we're going to go in and try this out and see what we think if the cone is not that great on the steamroller is it forget what's that weapon called again um depending how good the cone is on the where are you i can't find you there we are on the steam piston depending how good this bullet trap no cone thing is on the steam pistol steam piston depending how good this the cone is on the steam piston i may need to go ahead and change these last two 
two two headshot. If it's if the if the cone isn't that great, we're gonna go double headshot. Because it doesn't really matter with the magazine, and you guys are gonna see in the near future what I mean once I show off that hero setup. So there we go, guys. That's it. Um, that is kind of what I ended up uh, with the steamroller and the steam piston, and the broadside. Like I said, I took the broadside to those to that point. I've been playing a lot with it, and I've actually been doing some really, really crazy things with it. Um, for those of you who have come to the streams, you may have seen what I've been doing with it. It's been absolutely pandemonium how i've been using this and i've actually figured out since then i've actually figured out another way of using the steam uh the broadside in a very very fun way so if you guys would like to see a broadside guide playthrough kind of you know gameplay with it let me know that if you guys would rather see the steam roll and the steam piston first let me know that because i have both videos uh almost ready to go the steam piston the steam roller i'm um, like i said again i ended up and I might as well tell you guys right now, I ended up trying out the steam piston and that the steam roller. Sorry, the steam roller is the AR, right? I think the steam roller is the steam piston. Yeah. So I ended up using the steam piston and I ended up changing those perks to headshot. It's okay. It's good. I like the, I actually, I like the semi. I like the stability of it. I like the fact that I can like gauge my shots. If this thing had a scope, it'd be maybe as good as the AR. I don't know. I'm uh, sorry. As the tiger, it would be awesome. I think it'd be really awesome. Unfortunately, neither of these weapons you can go like full affliction on, you know. So it's uh, sorry, it's full, um, full crit. So you know, there's that thing. So it has to be a little bit of more of a balance. I did like how I ended up with the steam piston, which actually, let me show you guys right now. I can show you really quick what how I ended up with the steam piston. Uh, so the steam piston. This is what I ended up with the double headshot, and I did keep the double reload because I gotta tell you, I love it. I love the double reload, I love the double headshot, and I kept it water. The steamroller, of course, stayed that way with the triple damage reload and water. I wouldn't mind changing this one, to be honest. I, I really wouldn't. Um, if I were to go ahead and change this, you know, maybe go crit. Uh, I don't really think the magazine would be different. You know, the reload is fine. Once I, you know, increase this reload to a legendary, it'll be perfect. Um, I could do extra reload, but for now the triple damage has been really fun. Actually, it's been really fun So if you guys want to see gameplay and a little bit more in-depth testing out both of these weapons Let me know or if you'd like to see the broadside in it's all of its crazy cannony glory <laughs> and craziness Let me know and I can release that video first. So Thanks a lot for watching guys as always. I am DUJ2 I really appreciate all you guys watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy. Enjoy that broadside, guys. It's a uh, it's 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 a uh, it's a unique weapon. <laughs> see you guys.